Okay, this is Judas Priest 4 at Killer Kyle Studios, um, executive offices, uh, no, production room, um, I, well, we at Killer Kyle Studios want to bring you quality entertainment, um, and we do quickly flesh out our ideas, um, the mindfuck is a serious issue, but, uh, a lot of people don't want to be serious about things, so um, I'm going to edit some of my source material, which I really don't like to do, but like I said, if you guys want to watch it, you can buy the book, or read the book, or listen to it, whatever. Um, so I'm going to edit this one down and bring it into our lead character, um, in part G of the mind, fuck, uh, 3.Q. Um, and that gentleman's name is Craig, well he spells G-R-E-G, but... I always thought of him as Craig. Now, anyway, or at least initially. Now, when I first met Craig, um, he uh, was driving around in a car um, with his girlfriend. Um, I'm gonna call her MG. I was sitting in the front. Front, excuse me. Um, you know, I got a voice edit all this shit. It really takes a lot of time. So, um, forgive me. Um, anyway, so he's sitting in the front seat uh, with MG, and um. They're both kind of preppy. They have reputations to protect, unlike the rest of us. So me and this dude I know, we were smoking in the back seat of the car. What well, we're smoking, they put out the cigarettes. You know, you know, what the fuck? You don't act this way anywhere else. So we kept smoking, and we got luxury. Yeah, but anyway, five years later, I was uh, playing a game of Risk, which is about world domination at Craig's house. Oh, hang on. I need to take a hit off my vapor. Just wanted to make you guys sure it wasn't crack cocaine. Um, anyway. So, we're at Craig's. We're playing Risk, World Domination. I have America, South America, and Africa. I make a treaty with fucking Craig. Wrote it out on a piece of paper. Signed it. We agreed not to take each other for three turns. Um, I leave my border in Africa open. Uh, he's got Australia. Shockingly. And he blindsides me. Runs me through. Takes me out. Broke a fucking treaty. I don't like him. Uh, then, I forgave him. I hung out with him with uh, his broad I was going out with. Uh, yeah, I loved her a little bit, but he ended up uh, screwing around with her. Man, you know, fucking kid. You know, what are you going to do? Uh, I forgave him. So, anyway, how was it then? Oh, ten years later, I moved into him in this, on this street called Wilmington. The street was called Wilmington. I think it was 77 Wilmington. So anyway, I move in there. I drive my car over, and uh, this kid provides me with a couple of services. Um, I let him borrow my bank card. He starts using my bank card to take money out of my money for crack cocaine. And I had a lot of because I'm a lazy son of a bitch. Sometimes I said he'd pay me back. So anyway, one night he comes into my room, buck ass naked, which started to think of as after that point, buck, or ass, or buck ass, and naked. You know, buck naked would make a good porn name, some people say. But anyway, I digress. He wanted to borrow my, no, he wanted my lighter. He's buck ass naked in my room. I said, I'll keep you my lighter for $5, you fucking crackhead, because you ain't got a lighter, apparently, and you're running out of cracking time. You need that next hit. Five bucks. I swear to God. I'll, no, actually, it was $10. Oh, man, I was too good to that guy. Well, I was kind of a dick. Ten dollars for later. But anyway, um, I'll give it to you tomorrow. No, he doesn't give it to me the next day. Uh, and he, he takes my car. He drives it to work. He leaves it at work and picks up his own car. Calls me. Tells me I need, if I need my car, it says it is work. I can pick it up there. Uh, so, you know, I don't know. He didn't really seem to do any dishes, so... I had an ingenious idea of keeping one plate, one spoon, one fork, and one bowl, and only washing them. I'm leaving the rest of the dishes at Wilmington Street to pile up. Um, at the same time, he would never buy toilet paper. And I know it's a little thing, but after like a year, someone's using your toilet paper and doesn't do dishes and locks themselves in the bathroom, smoking the crack pipe, starts to get on your nerves. Uh, so when I moved out, um... You know, I was kind of happy to be away from all that drama. Uh, so this is a quick beginning of uh, the Craig dates. 
And like I said, oh, yet to apologize, my little bit of sass. Yeah, no voice there. Um, I'm condensing this um from the master tapes, um the Craig master tapes. <laughs> Sorry. Um. So I'm trying to clean this up. Uh, tell it in a family friendly way that we can all kind of look back on the web. So anyway. Uh, this is Judas Priest 4, trying to flip this shit over for you people as fast as possible. Um, you know, I know I'm slow sometimes, uh, but I gotta write this shit, um, act it out, uh, do a couple takes. Well, I had to do three takes of this one because my fucking phone kept dying and running out of space. So this is my third attempt on my tablet, blah, 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 wrapping her up, Killer Cow Studios, and that's gonna be an A, a B, and a C.